Welcome to the quiz master. This this is final coaching number 25. Live online review class. Let secondary English major. I am your lecturer, your English major coach. I am Professor Paul Hiranio, a faculty member of the University of San Agustin. The quiz master posts free review materials. However, if you want to support our channel, consider sending us super thanks, which you can purchase on YouTube. Be a member of this channel to have access to our private quizzes. Just, think, uh, just click the link in the description section of this video. So let's start. Question number one. Antonio sends a message to Gloria. In communication, this is A, encoding, B, decoding, C, both A and B, D, neither A nor B. What is the correct answer? Okay, the, the correct answer is letter A, encoding. Antonio sends a message to Gloria. In communication, this is encoding. We are talking here of an element of communication. When you send a message, you encode. And what does the other party do? Yes? Clarence? What does the other party do? Yes, decode. When you send a message, you encode. The other party decodes. Ano ang tawag sa mga uh, ano ang tawag sa nag-encode ng message? Jennifer? Sender. Yes, or speaker. How about the other party? Jonalyn? Yes, receiver or listener now let's go to question number two harper lee was an american a novelist b poet c playwright d speech writer i will give you time to write your answer in the chat box Okay, let me check some of your answers. Jennifer said, novelist, letter A. Yes, Francisco also answered letter A. Roy also answered letter A. The, that is the correct answer, letter A, novelist. Harper Lee was an American novelist. Carlos, is Harper Lee a he or a she? Yes, a she, right? And she she's an American novelist, right? From what state? Carlos, from what state? Alabama. And what was her most famous novel? Carlos? Yes, To Kill a Mockingbird. Published in what year? Maria? 1960. Anong famous award? Ang na received ni Harper Lee Bena. Yes, 1961 Pulitzer Prize. So Harper Lee was an American novelist. Now let's go to question number three. In ancient Greece, it refers to a temple or sanctuary where a supernatural figure could provide insights into matters that were hidden or unclear. 
such as future events? A. Tabernacle B. Colosseum C. Oracle D. Arena What is the correct answer? I will give you time to write your answer in the chat box. Okay, Stephanie, what is your answer? Yes, that is the correct answer, oracle. In ancient Greece, it refers to a temple or sanctuary where a supernatural figure could provide insights into matters that were hidden or unclear, such as future events, sanctuary. If you want to know the future, pag nasa ancient Greece ka, saan ka pupunta? Yes, Alexander Oracle. Yes, pupunta ka sa Oracle. And what was the most famous ancient Oracle? Uh, what was the most famous ancient Oracle? Yes, Roberto, the Oracle of Delphi. Sinong Greek god ang may power dito? Roberto. Yes, Apollo. Why Apollo, Bena? Yes, because he was the god of prophecy. Let's go to question number four. Phrasal verbs are usually A, formal, B, informal, C, both A and B, D, neither A nor B. What is the correct answer? Kindly write your answer in the chat box. Okay, Stephanie, what is your answer? Informal. Yes. Phrasal verbs are usually informal. Ano ang structure ng phrasal verbs? Stephanie, what is the structure of phrasal verbs? Yes. Verb plus preposition. Or verb plus adverb. So we say look up. No? That is a phrasal verb. Look is a verb and up is a preposition. Search for, come up with, look forward to. These are phrasal verbs. Are they formal or informal? Yes, informal. Do we use them in academic texts? Myla? We don't. As much as possible, no. Why? Because academic texts Require the use of formal English. Now, let's go to question number five. Which of the following shows a permanent situation? A, my brother lives in Japan. B, my brother is living in Japan. C, both A and B. D, neither A nor B. What is the correct answer? Julius, what is your answer? No. The correct answer is letter A. My brother lives in Japan. Which of the following situation shows a permanent? Uh, which of the following rather shows a permanent situation? A. My brother lives in Japan. Japan. We use the simple present tense, the I do form, to show permanent situations. You know, I teach in the University of San Agustin. You know, I teach. It means the situation is permanent as compared to I am teaching in the University of San Agustin. In that case, it shows that it is a temporary job. No, a, tempo, a, a temporary situation. Because for temporary situations, we use the present progressive tense or the present continuous tense. No, I am doing something. 
So again, when you say I teach in De La Salle University, it means more or less until retirement. I teach, no? Uh, permanent situation, more or less until retirement. But when you say I am teaching in DLSU, probably my plan no ka to transfer employment because I am teaching means the situation is temporary. Now, let's go to question number six. Language experts and educators started to give importance to this language skill in the 1970s. A, reading. B, listening. C, speaking. D, writing. What is the correct answer? Let me check your answers. Marlene said listening. Sandra also answered listening. Rodel answered listening. The correct answer is letter B, listening. Language experts and educators started to give importance to this language skill in the 1970s. The correct answer is letter B, listening. How many language skills do we have? We have four, right? Speaking, listening, reading, and writing. Of these, ano yung medyo napabayaan? That is listening. It was only in the 1970s that people started to give importance to listening as a language skill. Question number seven. Why is ESP learner-centered? A, it attracts language learners all over the world. B, it gives learners the opportunity to express themselves. C, it aims to fulfill the needs and interests of the learners. D, it helps learners speak good English. Again, why is ESP learner-centered? A, it attracts language learners all over the world, B, it gives learners the opportunity to express themselves. C, it aims to fulfill the needs and interests of the learners. D, it helps learners speak good English. What is the correct answer? Fidela, what is your answer? Letter A, it attracts language learners all over the world. Hmm? Alexander, what is your answer? Letter C, it aims to fulfill the needs and interests of the learners. And that is the correct answer. It aims to fulfill the needs and interests of the learners. Why is ESP learner-centered? It aims to fulfill the needs and interests of the learners. ESP is English for specific purposes. Okay? The most important concept here is, is that ESP or English for specific purposes is learner-centered. Bakit? Ang goal nito is to address the needs of the learners. Dapat, at the end of the course, na fulfill na ang or na, na fulfill or na satisfy ang needs ng ng learners. So ano ang proseso ng gawin or ano ang proseso ng ginagawa para malaman ang needs ng ng learners? The answer is Bena. What is the answer? Yes, needs analysis. Question number eight. It refers to activities that are intended to correct or improve something. A, assessment activities. B, instructional activities. C, collaborative activities. D, remedial activities. What is the correct answer?
Michael, what is your answer? Remedial activities, yes. How about you, Joanne? What is your answer? L letter D as well, right? Remedial activities. How about you, GM? Also letter D, remedial activities. That is the correct answer. Remedial activities. It refers to activities that are intended to correct or improve something. Remedial activities. Remediation. Remedial instruction. Pag na-fail ang bata or about to fail, remediation na kaagad, right? Remediation is common sa anong language skill? You know, again, we have four language skills. Speaking, listening, reading, writing. Ang remediation ay common, ay pinaka-common sa anong language skill? Correct, reading. Pwede din, pwede din writing, but basically reading, right? That's why we have this subject, remedial reading, right? Diagnosis and remediation of reading problems. So what happens during remediation? Michael, what happens during remediation? Please type your answer in the chat box. Correct. Reteaching and reinforcing previously taught concepts in order to correct and improve. Question number nine. Psycholinguists are A, natural scientists, B, behavioral scientists, C, social scientists, D, physical scientists. What is the correct answer? I'll give you time to write your answer in the chat box. Risa's answer is behavioral scientists. Elaine's answer is also letter B, behavioral scientists. Well, I understand because psychology, you know, is behavioral science. Because psycholinguistics is a combination of psychology and linguistics, right? Well, psychology is also a social science. That's why when you check the coverage of the LET for social science majors, one of the topics there is psychology. How about linguistics? Basically, linguistics is a social science. That is why ang psychology, again, I think included sa coverage ng social science major sa let because basically more than a behavioral science psychology is a social science but psycholinguistics is, is more of psychology is more of linguistics than psychology and linguistics is basically a social science the correct answer here is letter C. Psycholinguists are social scientists. Number 10. It refers to the production of sounds for spoken language. A. Phonological encoding. B. Phonological decoding. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. What is the correct answer? Please write your answer in the chat box. Okay, the correct answer is... Uh, Bena, what is your answer? Letter A, phonological encoding. How about you, Teresa? Letter A as well, phonological encoding. How about you... Tony, also letter A. That is the correct answer. Phonological encoding. It refers to the production of sounds for spoken language. Phonological encoding. The term phonological has something to do with sound. Okay? When you produce, is it encoding or decoding? 
Stephanie, when you produce, that is encoding, right? So the question here says production of sound. So the correct answer is letter A, phonological encoding. But when you interpret or give meaning to what is produced, then that is decoding. Okay? So the answer here is letter A, phonological encoding. So how did you fare in this review quiz? Tell us your score in the comment section and share this quiz to others as well. Thanks for watching. Good day, everyone. See you in the next session.